Now we want to tell you about an I-Team investigation into businesses that have been fined for just trying to stay open. Our investigative reporter, Joel Grover, has that story. At the Crave Cafe in Studio City, business is down 70% since the pandemic began. The owners say some customers don't even know they're open for outside dining and takeout. So last month, they put up this banner over their entrance. It really was important because it helped us in communicating to the community that we were still open. But this week, the Crave Cafe, as well as the nearby Chop Stop, Fantastic Sam's, Trader Joe's, and other businesses got this notice from the city, telling them to remove signs they posted, saying they were installed without the proper permit, and ordering them to pay a $356 fine. I do think that the city should have at least given us a warning to take down the sign prior to fining us. The Department of Building and Safety told the I-Team in a statement that putting up the unpermitted banners was a violation of the city code. But the department refused to do an interview with us on camera to answer further questions. The business owners think the city should waive the fines they issued to them the same way it's waiving other penalties during the pandemic, like for parking during street cleaning or at certain meters. We all are in this together, and in a pandemic, we need to be more compassionate and to target small business owners and even large business owners during something like this is very unfair. If the Crave Cafe and other businesses don't pay that $356 fine within 30 days, the penalty more than triples to almost $1,200. For the I-Team, I'm Joel Grover.